What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're taking a look at this absolutely cool TLRV Rove Light travel trailer. This thing is super compact, but there are so many things to like about it, from the way it's constructed, the materials they use, to even the overall weight. This is something that's towable by a lot of vehicles that you might not have considered in the past. So absolutely something we're gonna take a closer look at. Hang tight, we'll be right back. All right, before we get any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this tiny little travel trailer. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,500 pounds. You heard that right, 2,500 pounds. This thing is towable by a lot of vehicles that you may have not considered in the past. You do wanna be smart though and understand that this is a big wall going down the street and you don't wanna hitch this up to just any vehicle and you wanna understand what the towing dynamics may be if you use a vehicle that's too light, too short, too small. This has a single 2,500 pound rated axle. A lot of people will like the fact that the axle capacity matches the gross vehicle weight rating. It has a 1,222 pound cargo capacity, 1,222 pounds, which gives it a dry weight of 1,842 pounds. That is pretty insane. To put things into perspective, this trailer weighs less than my cargo trailer does, my 10 foot cargo trailer. You heard me right, my 10 foot Cargo Mate cargo trailer, which is probably the same size as this, weighs more than this trailer does. That's insane. Now it weighs slightly less empty, but the gross vehicle weight rating of my trailer is actually 500 pounds greater than this. That's insane. So this uses a gel coat on Asdell exterior wall and an Asdell interior wall. So I think that checks a box for a lot of people right off the bat. They also use a honeycomb composite flooring system inside of this RV, which is a lot different than people would typically expect in this size. And it, what it does is it really just reduces the overall weight and gives you a floor that's less susceptible to rotting or you know, essentially having problems with moisture and other things like that. You can see up front, check out the frame. Aluminum frame section, that is really, really cool. All of this is framed off in aluminum. Some of the reasons why this weighs so little is because of little perks like that. You have your coupler up front, and that is an upgraded coupler. It's not the traditional cheap coupler you see on a lot of RVs. You have a 20 pound propane tank up front as well. It has a manual tongue jack on the front of it. And it has a place for really one battery. You really couldn't fit more than that in here has a manual stabilization jacks, has a nice little outside storage area right here. Trailer King tire, I'd definitely upgrade those to maybe a Goodyear Endurance or something like that relatively soon. This looks to be a 13 inch wheel as well, with not much room to upgrade that. So if you're gonna go with something larger, heavier duty, just know what your limitations are in terms of spacing. This is the 14 BH TLRV model. Very cool, has a nice actual power awning. I mean, didn't really expect that. Coming around to the back, all LED lighting. You got more scissor jacks back here to stabilize it as well. You have your sewer connections here, more storage on this side. This is gonna be the outside of your furnace, water heater, outside shower, all your water connections and your power connection for your 30 amp hookup. Okay, let's hop inside and take a look inside of this 14BH TLRV. I like the fact that it has a nice gas strut here to hold the door open. You have your screen door and everything in place. Okay, so we are now inside. You can see this front area converts into a bed. It has two bench seatings right here. This goes in between and you can fold this whole thing out into a bed. You have some pleated blinds up here. It's very compact, but at the same time, it's much larger than what you would think, especially considering the fact that it only has a 2,500 pound GVWR. Nice solid wood construction, something that they talk about. Very nice as a padded board. That's actually pretty important because I've hit my head leaving some of these shorter units before. Two burner cooktop. Has some nice storage underneath here. Plus underneath there, there's a little net to stop things from moving around more storage under the sink and they've routed the plumbing in a very good way to keep things from damaging it if it moves around. Nice stainless steel sink basin. You have some more storage up here as well. You have a nice bench back here which I bet converts into a bed as well. At least it kind of looks like it should. 
maybe not. Well, there is a piece right there. So yeah, this also converts into a, another sleeping space. And I would imagine you take something out to put across here, but I don't know where the piece is that you would actually put across there. It might be that piece right there. But you have the support for it right here, and then it would rest right here, and then you have another sleeping space back here. But check this out up top. So you actually have more sleeping accommodations up here. Check that out. So you actually have a bunk up top as well. That is super cool. So you have a bunk up here, you could sleep someone right there, and you can sleep folks right here. Just really awesome. Has a Windows unit style air conditioning in this. Also has a 12 volt refrigerator. And the bathroom. It is a wet bath, it's relatively small. It's doable, but it is very small. It's definitely compact, but it's doable, right? Especially considering how small this RV is, right? You can't really expect anything bigger than this, but definitely makes sense. Now, if they did want to make it larger, they could have kind of sacrificed some of this area back here to give you a larger bathroom, which I believe they have other floor plans and they could probably do something like that. But what do you guys think? This thing is super cool. Very, very compact, very lightweight. This is towable by, shoot, a lot of vehicles, again, that you might not otherwise think could tow it. Look at your tow ratings on your vehicle. You know, you're gonna wanna at least see a 3,500, maybe 4,000 pound tow capacity to tow something like this. And that's mainly because of the length of this unit. So it doesn't so much come down to the weight at this point. It comes down to the fact that you wanna make sure you have a vehicle that's stable enough to tow something like this down the road without giving you sway simply because of the wind hitting the side of the RV and wanting to impact the actual tow vehicle itself. So those are always important factors whenever you look at towing. It's not just the weight, it's not just the length, it's not just the height, it's the combination of all of those factors that really matter at the end of the day. And I just hit my head exactly where I told you guys to be careful on this unit. So it is starting to rain. So this unit's gonna have an MSRP of a hair over $27,000. So it is not what I would consider to be a super low cost unit, but I do consider it to be affordably priced compared to competing units that typically have these types of building features. But again, the sales price is likely to be much lower than that. It's something you definitely wanna call them and talk to them about if you're interested in something like this. But I do think this is super cool. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.